Welcome back to our um, one hub challenge. I mean, sort of loosely changed now that we've got a few little hubs sort of around to try and ease the burden of our um, long lines. So basically where we're at here is we're, we're still attempting to do this as sort of one central city, but then we are setting up some connecting cities uh, for our impossible routes like Tokyo and Mexico City that just sort of constantly need attention. So we look back here, Mexico City is still our number one. New York, I don't believe I've set up a connecting city for. So we'll keep an eye on him. If he goes up over 3,000, we'll set him up with one. Uh, and we just want to keep an eye on Mexico City to make sure it can still handle it, even with just one city uh, connecting it, which would be insane if it's got so much attention that it can't even handle that. So we... Um, what we want to do now as well is we're going to open up that and we are going to open up more cities. Uh, more cities. Yeah, more cities on new countries. And we're also going to, I guess, find out about other cities that have opened that we had no idea were there. One thing really nice about having Khartoum as our central point is there is no other cities near it at all. So when I um, make a connection like this... Um, there's nowhere else I'm going to accidentally hit there because I think the closest city is up on the coast or something. You can see these red planes still heading their way over to Mexico. Um, and the ones coming in, hitting here, 6,000. It's crazy. I, It's insane how many people want to go to Mexico. But that's looking clean. So... Um... Yeah, sure, let's bet on it. So we are looking good there. New York's not going much higher than that, but I mean, there would have to be 30,000 people in this city wanting to go to Mexico for it to really become a major issue. All right, so let's get this guy going. Get him connected in. Upgraded. And I'll just double check. I definitely do have all planes available on that one. Uh, Palau next. So we feel in a nice little islands at this point. Now, interestingly, you can see that all of these planes are now going to be stacked on that point there because of the way that I just built this network. But what will happen is when they reach Khartoum, they will then spread themselves out across the line, coming back at a rate that sort of makes them um, evenly spread across the line, like you see every other um, line currently has. But what I can do to, um, it's still getting worse, uh, to attempt to correct that, although if this runs out of plate, people going to Mexico City, that can't get any worse. That's the only uh, sort of like potential positive we have. There are only 2,000 more people who aren't currently here. And once that network clears out those 2,000, um, then this number should so hopefully start to go down, but we will see. But what we can do, so jumping back to my other thought, Saints Kit, St. Kitts and Nevis, which is this one. If we pause and then open that, and then we grab, zoom in and get him. No, whoa. it's now mine. Jump in and get him. Connect him. And then say, we jump back over this way. Oh, because the line's not yet fully built, it won't be there. Um... No, that's the thingy. Okay, so there we go. So all the planes are upgraded. If we jump back to him and watch now with this guy, when we unpause, it'll only be the one plane. So it will now correctly space them from the get-go as opposed to sending all five at once. Um, whether or not that's ideal, I mean, arguably you'd want all the planes on this side as fast as possible just to clean out. I mean, in the long run, it won't really matter. 7,000 there. Uh, how's... Tokyo's connector doing... Tokyo's connector's looking fine. Um, and New York? New York's under 2,002. So we're currently winning the battle on everyone uh, with the limited connecting cities that we've got. So I reckon we can actually start to speed things up again. 
which hopefully will speed through this time a bit a bit more. So let's continue to open up our new locations. So we've got Comoros. I, I sold it and buy it. Uh, somewhere else just opened, so let's just pause for a second while we get that going. Now, there is one extra thing that we could do. If we were really wanting to hunt money here, um, you can see that probably the majority of African locations and uh, Middle Eastern locations are a pretty short jump from... Um, from Khartoum here and there's not that many that would be excessively busy. What we could actually do is say have a flight that goes from Khartoum over to like disconnect Khartoum from every single African nation and Middle Eastern nation and say have them a connection that runs to Medan from Khartoum and then every single African nation and Middle Eastern nation has to go via Medan to come back, meaning that their final leg is longer. Um, I'm going to upgrade this guy, but 10,000 sort of is our mark. But like I said, if we look here, the fifth highest one is 150. So firstly, Tokyo is looking great, and Mexico City isn't on there at all. So um, this guy has done a... a really not confident in pronouncing Nuakok, so we'll call it the, our Mauritanian city uh, is looking really good. So hopefully what we're now going to see is in 9.6, but that's now going to just drop because the guys to the right are going to reach their max limit that you can see um, that these planes here heading this way are now aren't even red, like they're just orange. So we're hitting 9.9 there. So basically 10,000 is our mark, but you can see that we're currently taking more guys from that airport uh, than we're receiving. Very close though, at this point. It's we're over 10,000 for the last arrival and we're just under 10,000 for this one. But it's, be it's because the route's shorter to get there from um, from Khartoum, then it's Mexico City. There you go, nine five. It's it's pretty it's pretty close. It's just as long as people stop showing up for uh, Mexico City. Oh, they love the food, and they're completely justified in that. All right, Bahrain up next. Sorry, let's get Dejan. Connected. So the logic here is that the last, it's the last connection that you have, which is where you, um, which is how much money that flight is worth. So for example, um, if we have someone who is say flying from um, Calcutta to Dhaka, and we had this direct flight, that's the amount of money that we're going to make on that flight. But because everyone who has to make that flight has to fly all the way to Khartoum, the final leg of that flight is from Khartoum, Dhaka. So we are uh, exploiting the game to actually create a much larger sort of final journey for them. So that's where essentially this way can make a lot of money. And you could arguably exploit this in other ways to make even more money. Like well, what if you had two hubs that were on opposite sides of the city of the world. So say for example, we made Dhaka a one of our two capitals and we made the other one um, Lisbon. And so what happened was, no, actually let's go even further than that. Let's say San Paulo, Sao Paulo, all the way over here. And so anyone who is connected to the right hand side of the world flies to Sao Paulo and then has to fly back to get to their final flight. Uh, and then anyone who is connected on the east side of the world has to fly all the way over to Dhaka and then fly back uh, to make their connections. So it seems like like the chances of having um, networks that would just lose their mind because of their lack of connection would be very easy. Um, but if you were really wanting to hunt that highest score, 
Um, that would be the way to do it. I don't know what the name of the airport was. I just did we'll go look at the stats to find that one out. Let's get this guy connected. Speed things up. Go into our routes and all the way to the bottom. That guy upgraded and this guy upgraded. You can see that in that page there are still some routes that are only running on two, three planes. But we're not and some a lot of on four too. But we're not hearing any complaints from anyone, so we'll um just leave them as is. Um you can see here that we are winning the battle. No, we're even worse off in Mexico. I wonder what makes Mexico just continually pushing. Because you can see that Tokyo is actually doing very well. Not even red planes heading to Tokyo. Just Mexico City. This is the fun thing too, that we do get the opportunity to get even more places on the map. Uh, again, I don't remember what the name of the city was I just added, so let's go find out this way. All right, let's get Bahrain. real zoomed in. At least we know we, all we've got to do is follow all the other planes to where we're trying to find. Did I build that or did that make a click cancel sound? No, it looks like I made it. A lot of Chinese cities coming to the party now. See that money turning over. What are we up to? 19 million passengers. And we've got 17 territories still to go. It is great to see them continuing to add more and more of the little island countries. The map being sort of, I guess, slightly more incorrect with how big these islands might have to be in order for you to click on them. But, I mean, I would rather them try and capture all the different places in the world and then just sort of ignore them because they're too small. Mexico City, you are a problem. My hope was that genuinely that I'm opening so many different cities that it, it pivots people away from wanting to go to Mexico. That, that sort of like it, Mexico City is no longer the hot new thing on this line and they go elsewhere. The problem is that, like, what I possibly need to do is just shift this in a way that that routes the Mexico City to um, something is slightly shorter than the leg from um, Khartoum, which, I mean, that's looking clean as anything. That's that's pretty. Um, I'm amazed that New York even corrected without a... Does New York have a jump city? I don't think it does. Maybe it does. I'll go straight to Khartoum. I also just had a new city connect that I did not see, but I'm sure people have told me that there are cities on here that um, point out to me. A lot of times I've read that in comments. A lot of times I'll film a um, MyCorp series in, in a real quick row. So that whenever there's a comment on it, it's, there's nothing I can really do because I've already either filmed everything or I'm, I'm well beyond point. Alright, three new South African cities. Do we still have one more? Um, one more city in the world that's just not connected to anything. And we've just got Pittsburgh open. I can at least remember try and remember Pittsburgh, leaning onto my clearly biggest strength of retaining information in this game. So, we've got that guy connected. We'll go find Pittsburgh. And 
there was one other city that wasn't connected. Ah, Iceland. Sorry about that, Iceland. You must have been sitting there this whole time. I'm gonna have to address this. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna shift Mexico City to our little island friends of uh, it Cape Verde. This will put them slightly closer to the connector. And we'll get rid of that route. Now means that these poor guys are gonna have to um fly everyone back through. Um but I actually would rather that. I think I don't want to have everyone just get dumped on um right, yeah. That's if that's reading Portuguese Spanish, I would imagine that we're going hard vowel, so it'd be praia. Correct me if I am wrong. Um That guy should get in the habit of saying these city names out loud as I connect them, because otherwise I go back and I just forget which one it was. Malta. All right, let's get a little old Malta in there. It's just Lima, just sort of flies over Priya. How are you looking? So basically, we're trying to slow this down by just having that that gradual shift of people going to Mexico City, moving across the network. Again, it's it's crazy. It is crazy how many people want to go to Mexico City compared, to, seemingly compared to anywhere else in the world. Um. So let's move this guy connected. It is fun as well that this we can sort of continue on and expand the, the amount of places in other parts of the world. Like South America is looking very skimp uh, at the moment. It's more wanting to bring in more of the Chinese cities. I wonder if it's just based on populations. I imagine a lot of these cities are very large or dense. Seychelles. I should know where the Seychelles are. Just keep trying to bring in everyone. Virgin Islands are that one. That's all of them. Yeah. Okay, then we've got the Arctic is oh no, so the French and Southern Arctic lands, not Antarctica itself. Antarctica is up next. That would be a wild one. What if you tried to do a uh, single city and your single one was the French islands? Have everyone sort of have to terminate back out through that. The money you could make from Europe. The nightmare scenario you'd create for yourself though. All right, talk to me. I don't know, let's jump back over this way. Sorry, Tampa. So Perea is now complaining about almost being maxed out. So I'll be the 10,000. I mean, predecessor was a 20,000 seat airport, so understandable. Now that guy has cleared house. So he's, we've moved everyone out of that onto the normal network. 
He's got 4,000 people for Mexico City sitting there. He's got 10,000, so we can't... Or 11,000. So we've got about 15,000 people still wanting to go to Mexico City. Um, if we have a look at this, what we can watch is the difference in time. So one jet leaves, one jet arrives. One jet leaves, one jet leaves. So we are still closer to... Khartoum from Korea than we are in Mexico City. So Mexico City is still going to be the disadvantage here. And so that number is going to continue to go up. Um, the question mark though is once this hits zero, does does that help? <laughs> does anything help? I'm sure we've had new cities just being in. I've heard them. Um, let's get those guys upgraded. Let's go find those non-connected cities. Hiroshima. You rolling? Ah, uh, and there's another one too. Indianapolis. We are starting to see a lot of our um, American cities come in. Let's just jump over here. So I feel like I can remember Indianapolis well enough. I'm curious to see how we look once we get Los Angeles coming in too. Ah, oh, where did Janine go? Yes. Alright, talk to me, how are you looking? That lame is going to be annoying there, isn't it? Alright, so 6,000 there. 9,000 there, so we're still holding at about 15,000 total. Sendai. The thing that's really getting me, I think, what's surprising me so much about this Mexico City thing is how under control uh, Tokyo is. Now, still with Tokyo, the second leg is longer than the initial leg. But there's just no one's waiting. They are completely cleaned up. That was all it needed. I mean, it's hard to tell how much, like, if you look at this one, that seems pretty even. I mean, it's certainly as even as we can get anything more, and it'd be across the, um, it'd have to be in the Americas. Now we've got Columbus, which is there. At the very least, it's not going very fast. Like, this is a very steady ship, uh, what we've got going on with Mexico. All right, let's get Antarctica in there. That's our city there. And Australia. Papua New Guinea. Oh, someone else just joined. Oh, wow, we got Sydney nice and quick. Now let's see Melbourne represent. Papua New Guinea. Greenland. Whereas we have done Greenland already. Anyone traveled to Greenland? How easy is it to get from Iceland to Greenland? Is it worth seeing Greenland? Some things I'm curious about. Like if you guys go into all the effort to go to Iceland, would it be worth stopping in Greenland to see it, say you've done it? Anything like that. All right, so we've got 9,000 people heading for Mexico City in Perea. There we go, there's Melbourne. All right. I can finally start traveling the world. Um, 9,000 there. Seven thousand there, so we currently have sixteen thousand people wanting to go to Mexico City. This ain't quitting. They are. They've all heard about how lovely the tacos are at Orin Orinoco. 
and they are all having to check it out. Most sincerely, if it was to fly to Mexico City from Melbourne, I have to fly like 14 hours across um, the Pacific to San Francisco or LA and then fly five, six hours south. So it's a long way. But if it was six, eight hours, absolutely, I would take various people there just for the food. So it's, it's possibly more than any other city that I get it. I get why they are all heading over there. But it is a long way to go. Who is next? Solomon Islands. I just got to make sure we keep an eye on that we haven't um, gotten everyone. We obviously need one person left standing in order for the game to not completely end. Somewhere like the Falkland Islands would also be a wild place to get everyone to, to go through. Um, just because it would mean that you're sort of having to run the whole length of the world to get back to wherever you're going. I mean, you definitely need a couple of bunny hop routes, but... Okay, so he's holding it about... What is he going to hold? Yeah, about 11,000. And this guy is now at... 5,000, so we're still 6,000, but like I said with our previous one, hopefully once we clear out the um, Khartoum airport from for Mexican flyers, we can um, start to see this one go down. Essentially, we want that this one to have everyone that is going. Um, take that stress off Khartoum. All right, Milwaukee. All right, Falkland Islands, let's get them going. This guy. Okay, uh, let me just do a quick check to make sure that not forgotten anyone. Good. Top five cities by load. Where are you? Is it just that you. Oh, you're out of Tokyo. Connector. Vanuatu. So we've, we're still just making uh, time at the moment. We've got 275 minutes, which is more than what we started with, which I think we started with um, 250s or so. Under 3,000 there. Micronesia. I'm not sure if I've said it before. I'm curious about Micronesia. I would love to, to visit. I think it's a bit tricky to get to. Plenty, plenty of the islands out this way I haven't seen that I really should. And waiting for it to make its connection so I can edit it. Really happy to see no one else struggling at all here. That's funny that 
Freya is the next worst that it's spent so long just trying to move Mexican uh, Mexico City residents that just planes aren't getting to the people who are actually trying to get to Bria. African one. I suppose it's in Nigeria, which is a pretty population heavy country as well. I mean, again, this one just sort of becomes the question of um, once we clear out Khartoum, does this start to go down? At the moment, it being 15,000 is fine. But we want to see this. Now, at the moment, it seems like no, because when we first started looking, there were 15,000 total pop uh, people heading for Mexico City, and then it went to... 16,000 and now it's 17,000. So it's crazy that there's only about five cities in the world that need a hub connecting city and um, Mexico City is going to need two. Like I said, I want this empty people heading to Mexico City before we can judge the state of play, the prayer. Someone didn't get upgraded. I feel like what I'm going to have to do, possibly with Mexico City, is get someone connected down here. So say um, Paramaribo, get, have that as a next connector, and then have that run to Mexico City. So it sort of operates as like a one, two, three. But still, like I said, I think that because this is... um, can't ever click on that. Because this is about to start get close to hitting zero, that's really really where the test is going to begin. I mean, if you sit here and we watch this, you can see that it's still more often that we're getting a plane from Khartoum than we're getting a plane from Mexico City. So permanently, Mexico City is going to be losing the battle of getting rid of these. But similar uh, to Mauritania, once there's nothing to be sent from Khartoum, is this close enough a gap that we're actually going to start to see Mexico City win this battle? But I mean, at the moment, you can see those are all still red planes. But I mean, half of that's now going to be Perea. Uh, is... It's insane that Perea is still not even getting the, uh, the look in. Like, why are people. Why are they not taking flights to. Um... Korea. Like, there's not even 700 people waiting for Mexico City. Why does it keep getting cleared, but Paris is not moving at all? There we go. Finally, we've got some people moving for Paris. And those ones don't matter. Those ones will actually just terminate there, and then they're gone. So, 18,000 currently. Uh, we had two new cities to connect to. St. Louis was one of them. And the other one was, was it in China. Ah, catch it. Rosario. Oh, I've forgotten what one it was. Holding at 18,000. Free is gone. So 
we just sit here and watch this. We do see Mexico City still climb pretty quick up this, but it cleared out before it hit 500. Um, is that going to be the case again here? So if it's getting over 700, then it means that it's getting passengers delivered faster than um, faster than we can clear them out. But I mean, if that was the case, then you should see it start to go up, climb up over a thousand and so on again, which it isn't. But that brings us to the end of another one. We're now up $18 billion. Uh, Mexico City is still our huge question mark. A lot of time left to play, so hopefully we can burn through a lot of that in uh, Fast Forward. Any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.